Thanks for joining me in today's webinar about the online workshop booking feature, Book My Bike In. We've got a few people joining us today who aren't currently using Book My Bike In, so I'm just going to do a quick run through of how it works, as well as focusing in on the change that's in uh, this month's CloudPos release. So it's great when a customer calls up or pops into your shop because they want to book a service, but it means someone has to down tools, stop what they're doing uh, and go and take the customer details and create the workshop job, uh, arrange with the customer when they're gonna drop the bike off into the shop. So there's a bit of admin there and all those interruptions through the day add up. What But My Bike In does is it cuts out that interruption and does that bit of admin for you, but it still gives you the flexibility and control that you need uh, so we've got hundreds of bike shops using the workshop module and as you can imagine everybody uses it slightly differently um, so that's why book my bike in is a simple solution that cuts out that first bit of admin but it makes sure that you're in control of what work needs doing how long it's going to take uh, and when you're going to schedule that job so all but my bike in does is it creates the workshop job for you so you don't have to spend the time manually doing it uh, it gives you the information about the customer and it finds that customer in CloudPos, so it links those accounts uh, and what they think, uh, what the customer thinks needs doing on their bike, as well as when they're going to come and drop it off. When they do that, you've still got the opportunity to have that conversation with them, set an expectation of when the bike will be ready and how much it will be. Um, but the admin side of uh, the first part of that booking is all done for you. So it's also much easier for your customers because they don't have to call or pop in when the shop is open. They can go online at any time uh, and book their next service. So for me, it's always out when I'm right, out riding my bike when I realize, oh, I really need to get this serviced. Um, and I can just take my phone out, get it sorted right then and there instead of having to try and remember uh, on the next Monday, say when I'm on my lunch break that I need to go pop into my local bike shop. So if you've got e-commerce, um, with your CloudPos, there'll be a page on your website with something that looks a bit like this. Uh, so your customers can click to uh, straight from there to start their booking. So each customer, each bike shop, sorry, has their own custom URL that will only show your workshops when a customer uses that URL. It doesn't matter if they click back or try and start again, it won't show any other workshops. It just doesn't work like that. Um, so you can put this in your uh, on your homepage, in a banner, in your navigation, link to it from your workshop page and blog articles, uh, newsletter marketing, anything like that, uh, that makes it easy for your customers to find. Of course, a brand new customer can also go to uh, straight to bookmybiking.com and they'll be able to see uh, all the workshops in their local area. But th if they've used your custom URL, uh, they will only see your shops. So the first step for the customer is um, to put in their location by postcode or town. So currently this is available uh, in the UK and Ireland so far. And then they'll get a list of workshops. And again, only yours will show if they've used your custom URL. Um, but if they've gone straight to bookmybiking.com, they'll see all of their local shops. Um, they can filter by how many miles away um they are from your from your bike shop um so they might be willing to travel say up to 25 miles they can also sort the order that they see them by name um by distance and by the next available date so if everybody else is booked up but you've got some availability um your workshop would be top of that list so the customer can click to see a little bit more details about your workshop um, this is all in, in CloudPod's back office. Um, so they can see uh, a little bit of a description there, your store opening hours, and a few key features that you might want the customer to know about you. And then they'll get the option to choose their workshop service. So you can set these up in the Manage Online Workshop Service page in back office. Um, you can call these services whatever you'd like from free initial assessment, where you gonna, if you're gonna wait until you've actually got the bike in shop to see what needs doing to it. Uh, or you can do a full range of services um, at different levels so customers can see everything that you've got available that you can do for them. You could even add in the average turnaround time for each service into the title there. I know some people have done that um, to give the customers an idea of how long it might take. So you might put like a big basic service, same day, or maybe a gold service might be one to two days. The customer can also click through to see more details on that workshop service. 
So again, you can put anything you want the customers to know in here and all the setup is in CloudPause in back office. So you can easily see um, what, what's up there, update your workshop details and your services as well. There are step-by-step -step guides on howto.citruslime.com. Just search for book my bike in. So when the customer has chosen their service, uh, the next step is to choose when they're gonna drop the bike off at the shop. So the customer doesn't schedule the job or choose how long it takes. All they're doing here is letting you know when that bike's gonna be in store. So you've got full control over what needs doing, how long it'll take, uh, when and when that work will be done. But you do know when the bike's gonna be arriving. And you've already got the customer details and also a little bit of information from them about what they think needs doing. So the available days are set by store opening times and the settings at the top of the workshop calendar. And we'll look at these in more detail in a second because that's where the key changes from this release. So next we take a few uh, details about the customer and this is what CloudPods uses to match the customer uh, in, the, in your CloudPods system. Um, so you've got their contact details and a little bit more information on their bike. So we ask for the make and model and anything else that might help. So the example I've got here is a live intrigue and my, my brakes aren't working as well as they used to. And that is it. The booking is complete. Uh, so it's just five simple steps for the customer, dead easy. They get a confirmation email and you do as well. And if you've got your automatic reminders switched on in CloudPods, they'll get those reminders too. So in your workshop module, you'll get an unscheduled job with all the info in it already created for you. So, so far, this has taken no time from anyone in the workshop. It's all been automatic. You do also now have filters on this side panel um, and the order reference for book my bike in orders always starts BMBI. So you can easily filter uh, to find them. So here's our unscheduled workshop job. It's already created for us. So we can see all the information that the customer has put in and it's already linked to the correct customer in CloudPuzz. We know when the bike's gonna be dropped off, the service that the customer has chosen, uh, their contact details and any extra info that they've provided. When the customer comes into the shop to drop the bike off, you've still got that opportunity like you do now to cast an eye over the bike and have a chat with the customer about what needs doing and how long it might take. But the admin side of creating that job um, and agreeing when they can bring their bike in has all been done online. So it cuts out that side for you and just saves that bit of time. So in the black bar at the top is where we've got the settings that control your next available date. Um, so first it shows your, your current available date. So you can see uh, the earliest that the next person's gonna be able to book. Uh, and then you've got the lead time in days, which is uh, kind of how much notice you want. So if your lead time is set to two days, the earliest a customer can possibly book is gonna be at least two days from now. And the final setting is what is changing in this release. So it used to be bookings per day, as we can see here, but now it's going to be max drop-offs per day. So this has come directly from user feedback. And because it's in CloudPuzz, we've been able to make this change ahead of the planned Book My Bike In update later this year. So if you've got your max drop-offs set to three, and um, when you've had three customers choose the same drop-off date on Book My Bike In, that date becomes unavailable. So other customers online won't be able to choose that day to drop off their bike. Of course, you can still schedule more work on the day uh, in your workshop calendar, it, and it doesn't take into account anything that's already booked in your calendar. So it's only the bookings that come from Book My Bike In. You've also got a list of the unavailable dates due to max drop-offs being reached on the right-hand side. So that gives you a quick and clear overview of which dates aren't available to customers. So instead of having to stop what you're doing to create the workshop job manually while you're on the phone call or in person, and then chat with the customer again when they bring their bike in, uh, you've already got all the customer info and the job details already there for you, uh, and you know when the bike's going to be coming in as well. I was chatting to a customer yesterday who said they actually have booked my bike in up on the till, and when a customer comes in and they want to book a service, they do it with them on book my bike in because they know it'll create the job for them, it'll already find the right customer and, and they know the customer will get the reminders as well. 
So it's more convenient for your customers to be able to book a service whenever they're thinking about it, rather than having to wait until the shop is open. And it'll also help you to connect with some new local customers who are looking for a workshop nearby. But most of all, it cuts out that bit of admin and it saves um, about five minutes for, per job from the customers that we've spoken to so far. Um, and you've still got the opportunity to chat to them face to face when they bring the bike in and set the expectation with them about what actually needs doing and when it's gonna be ready for them. To book my bike in is currently free as part of the workshop module. Uh, in its current format, there is no extra charge for this at all. So as I've said earlier, we managed to sneak this into the March Cloud Pods release, uh, and that's the week commencing the 20th of March. But we still got the uh, we're still planning the uh, book my bike in update later this year, which is why it's important to get onto Canny to vote and comment on your favorite ideas. So you can scan the QR code on the screen and that'll take you through to the book my bike in section of Canny. We've got quite a few suggestions there, but we, we really value your feedback. Um, so it's really important that you um, yeah, get on there and vote for your favorite ones, comment on your favorite ones and add any new suggestions that you've got. So that's all for this webinar. As usual, I'll be posting the recording to YouTube later today uh, and I'll email out the link for that when it's done. If you want any other colleagues to take a look, you can easily send them that link uh, or just find the Citrus Lime YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest new features and product updates from Citrus Lime. And that's all for today. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.